The purpose of this training video is to walk you through the steps necessary to configure and test the operation of failover directory. Remembering that failover directory is a licensed feature, so just simply installing an additional directory is not going to work. In our current system configuration, we see that we have two different servers. Server A is running as our archiver, and server B is running as our primary directory and primary EDB. On server C, we've already installed the directory and EDB server services, and they are running on the machine, but they have not been configured as part of the system yet. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add both the directory and the EDB into the system. We do that by doing a right click on the ISOC, and first we'll start off by adding our directory. We need to tell the system where this new directory lives, and we also want to give the new directory an appropriate name. So we'll name it Directory2 Failover on Server C. The network address for this particular server happens to be training underscore 11, or we could have used the IP address of that machine. Once we have that done, we can go ahead and hit the Save feature. And this will go ahead and add the directory in as part of the system. However, it won't be recognized by the system until we actually license it. But before I go and license the directory, I'm going to go ahead and also add the EDB server. So we'll do a right click, we'll do an add EDB, and we're going to name this EDB number two. We can refer to it as the secondary or failover EDB. We'll go ahead and call it secondary. And it's, and it's also on server C. Its network address is going to be the same. And we'll save our work. Now we can see that it appears that Directory2 is part of the system. Looks like he's connected, he's got an uptime and so forth, but he's not actually part of the system yet because he has no license. So let's go ahead and check the licensing of this particular directory by going to System Settings We'll click on the drop down and we'll go to the licensing section. Under the licensing section, we see our license area and we see over here are two different directories. We have a directory on training 11 and we have a directory on machine training 12. The training 12 machine is true for licensed. The training 11 machine, the directory that we just added, is not. So all we're going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and select 